Today I'm going to show you how to remove this bumper cover. The first thing you're going to want to do is open the hood. So you find this and pull it. To open the hood, you look right underneath here and you see that there's a little thing and you push it to the right and that opens. Next, you're going to want to find this and it holds the hood open. The first thing we got to do is take out the fog lamps. So what you're going to want to do is you push this little tab right on the side and it pulls that right out. You don't want to take the bulb out because then you have to worry about touching. Once you've done that, there's four of these plastic things right underneath here that hold the bottom of the bumper. So we're going to want to take those four things off. We're going to use this tool. Next, you're going to want to check the position of the wheel so that you can get to these screws. You got to take out this one Phillips head, two Phillips head, and then there's a 10 millimeter right up here. We're going to pull those three things out. And right up in here, just do this 10 millimeter. So we turn the wheel, now we get in on this side, remove these screws. Okay, next we have these two 10 millimeters and these two clips. We can pull off these two clips right now, right here. Um, we wanna leave on the 10 millimeters to hold the bumper in place. So over here, now that we've taken out the screws, you can just pull on this and it sort of disconnects. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. There we go. Now we're just gonna pull out these two tens and the front bumper cover is gonna come off. For the bumper cover, we've only used a Phillips head screwdriver, a 10 millimeter socket, and this clip puller to get this off. So we've removed all of those and it should, if we lift from here, hold on, let me back up, come right off. Oh, look, we forgot one pull. It's right in here. So we're gonna use this tool again and pop that off. Okay, now it's off. We can move it out of the way. So this whole thing just pops right off. I used a little thing, it's got some tabs. Oh look, I broke it. So you're gonna wanna push those tabs in, but I have a replacement, so it's okay. I got this new bracket for the uh, bumper cover here. So to get it in there, you see this hole? That thing fits in there. And then there's two little push-ins right here, bam, bam. This bolts up at the end. And so this just clips right into there. And so that's what you gotta do. For the install here, I just pushed it into place. I didn't push anything in yet. I hung the two 10 millimeters that I took off last and I just wanted to get everything into place. You see how this is down? We gotta get that back up into place. So you just need to look at it and push it into place slowly and then give it a little tap. Once you get it lined up to your liking, this is closer than it was. Um, you gotta put in this first bolt and get everything tight and then put in your two little screws here. Make sure you put this behind here so that you don't have to do it later. When doing the driver's side, you have to pop that behind first and then remember to do that one back there. You're just gonna hold this, push that in, and that's done. And then your three, two screws here and one 10 millimeter. We were all back together, it took about an hour. Did a little bit of, a little bit of something over here. Try and make it look better. These two I popped out, I have to replace, but luckily I bought this kit on Amazon also, and I think it's got all that in it. So we just gotta find the right one. We found some that fit in there. This time I won't lose them next time. 